Does anyone else hear a fan of the right? I guess it's pretty lucky we've got two of the people next to me here. <laughs> Although, he might be hot, but the weather's certainly not. So, after a bit of a delay, thanks for coming here. And um, we're going to have a few questions and... <laughs> Brighton. Just shame about the weather. No worries. Thanks for having us. Thanks for thanks for turning up in this weather. Dedication, guys. Thank you. But I understand you guys aren't strangers to Adelaide. Stephen, you were here what six months ago. Yeah, we I came down for the to, for that Adelaide show with Lincoln. who plays Casey. You all know Casey. And and Lisa has got a family connection. Yeah, I've got an auntie and uncle here, so um, I come down once a year for you guys and see them as well. It's just like it's good fun. Yeah, it's a good and town. Lisa, I understand you actually grew up in the Barossa for a little bit. Didn't I did. You? I grew up in Lindop for about ten years, and yeah, we went for a drive down there the other day, and it was just as beautiful as it ever was. And Steve actually went and had a look around in McLaren Valley. Yeah, McLaren Valley. Yeah, I saw the I saw the place where Lisa had her first glass of wine at age fourteen. <laughs> Does <laughs> 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 even know me for yet? There you go. Yes, Confirmation you. that Lisa is hotter in real life. <laughs> okay, so apart from the wineries, do you guys have any favourite places in Adelaide now that you're sort of a bit more familiar? Um, look, I, I went to Glenelg yesterday for a swim. That was that was beautiful. Oh. This is my first first time here, and it's a beautiful yeah. beach as well. Very different, different to Sydney beaches, but really, really, really pretty. Yeah, I used to go yeah. to Glenelg, I used to go to the Magic Mountain, and <laughs> it's no longer the Magic Mountain anymore. I hear it's the beach house. I hear it's changed the beach house. <laughs> Ironic. Irene lives in the beach house. <laughs> um, yeah, I also used to go to uh, the Big Rocking Horse down in um, Young Rapid, yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely wonderful. We used to take all our visitors there. Now, Lisa, you were actually going to enter today. Do you want to tell us about that? You I was. Sort of like, last year, you guys all inspired me so much. I was talking to some people at lunch of how they trained and that it was good fun. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it next year. And unfortunately, they wouldn't let me. We didn't have enough time to get me in there and dry me off and get me roadworthy again. So. Have you got any tips for anyone who thinks that they sort of might do it? Like, what do you do? Do you train? Of... Not like me. I have any... I can't remember last time I swam in the ocean. So it would have been a very interesting experience. <laughs> And so, I mean, I guess you guys sort of feel a bit at home coming down to beaches and stuff. You spend so much time down at, you know, on the <laughs> I'm so not a beach dweller. I really, really? am. I'm, I, I was so excited that it was cold today and I got to wear my boots. And <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm two seconds away from wearing a leather jacket. Like, it's, it's not me, but Steve's a, you're a beach boy. Well, I grew, I grew up in the middle of New South Wales, so I, was, I didn't grow up near the beach, but now that I work at the beach, I enjoy it. It's pretty cool. Now, I guess we'll get to get down to work. Um, Steve, your character, Brax, has gone through an intense, you know, start to the season already. Yep. How's he going? Is it going to get better? He's struggling. He's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. He's going to some pretty dark places, but it's, for me, like, it's a good storyline because, you know, lots of people lose people they, they love and, and have to grieve, and he's just grieving like the average Aussie male by getting angry and, and having a few beers. So <laughs> you wait, there's some stuff coming up in the next, probably the next six weeks, so it's the best fun stuff I've done on the show. Yeah. So good news for Bax? Yeah, i got lots of scars all over me shooting it, and I had the, I had the best... You saw it. You, you came down to watch yeah. the shooting. It was unreal. It was a whole day of doing something that I had no idea home and away would ever do. So, okay, yeah, so next excited. few weeks we'll, we'll stay tuned for that. And Lisa, what's happening with Bianca? Pretty crazy too, I mean. Uh, yeah, what, what's happening at the moment? Does anyone know what's happening on screen? Yeah, you oh, I mean, that, yes. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, we're, we're filming about five months ahead at the moment, so it's all a bit uh, blurred. But, yeah, no, she's... I think the Hens party is coming up this week and that was possibly um, some of the funnest stuff I've ever shot with Home and Away because we have all these wonderful female characters in one room and you add a few cocktails to that and it, it, it was fun, a lot of improvisation, a lot of the stuff messing around and bouncing off each other. Yeah, I, I even turned, turned up. A, I you turned, turned up? I turned up yeah. Why are you here? Yeah, and why have you still got clothes on? the party. <laughs> So do you guys get to sort of improvise a bit, you know, when you're on set? I mean, how, what do you really bring to your characters? I mean, obviously you are, you know, your characters, but how, what personal things do you bring? Lots of, um, lots of bad language that gets edited out. 
<laughs> no, not at all. Um, no, we, I don't know. You, you try and make, because Home and Away can be quite dramatic and and uh, intense, you try to bring as much humour as you can. Yeah, you so. try, try and lighten it whenever you can. Like, yeah, we, we both have pretty dramatic characters and our job is to do the, you know, the, the drama stuff, whereas you have the lighter characters like Marilyn and Dex and that, and they all, they get to have fun all the time. But So we try and lighten ours up as much as we can, just for our own sort of yeah. <laughs> mental health more than anything. Well, are you different from your character? I mean, Lisa, your character, Bianca, she's quite feisty and, yeah. you know, very opinionated. I mean, are you the same? Or? No, no, it, we're, we're, um, we're quite different. I like to think that in, in some um, serious situations I can be as serious as Bianca and sort of stand up for what I believe in, but... I'm a bit of a goofball and a bit of a dag and it's really nice to go to work and put on the stilettos and, and, and yeah. play that strong, um, feisty woman then go home and just be, yeah, a goofball. And what about Steve? I mean, have you ever barricaded yourself in a hospital room before? <laughs> I did it once. Yeah. But, um, no, I no, I'm nothing. Um, no, I think Brax is a, is a bit cooler than I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no you, you bring elements of your personality. I tried to make him as much of an Aussie bloke as I could because, you know, everything's so American. Yeah, because you're not Australian at all. That's right. No, it's, it's good, and, and people seem to like that, which is good, because surfing culture is, is an Aussie thing, so, um, you know, I just want to make him Aussie. Yeah. Do you guys, you know, hang out with some of the cast outside of work, or what do you guys do to sort of have fun when you're not on set? Yeah, we have, we catch up, we have barbecues and Kevin's yeah. birthdays and stuff. Not, not so much. I mean, Lise, I hang out with, I guess, Lisa and, and Lincoln a lot, um, Dan, but that's, that's a about it really. There's, like, there's a big age gap between sort of us and the, uh, like, there's the younger ones yeah. and then there's the older ones that have their families and stuff. So yeah, we just, whenever we have an occasion, we get together and we, we celebrate it well. Yes. <laughs> but it's pretty fun on set. I mean, is there is there any sort of cast members who are pretty, you know, goofy or any secrets you can give us? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's recording this, I can't. There's something you're telling me. <laughs> no, the, everyone, um, everyone has a lot of fun because we don't work together enough to ever get sick of each other. So we have, yeah, we have a laugh. I tell you, Axel, Axel is a funny, funny man. Yeah? Axel, I did, yeah. I've, I've had lots of scenes with him recently. And, Not as many as many. I, 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 <laughs> yes. We haven't, yeah, we, we don't get up to the same stuff that so we got up to. We've been pretty intimate. He's yeah. a bad man for, um, he's the only bloke that's made me uh, laugh and ruin maybe oh, two takes in a row. he's the worst. We call it corpse in acting because it's the worst thing you can possibly do is laugh during a scene and you will have some of the most serious scenes probably some of the stuff you were doing yeah. this week like they're really emotional very dark stuff and there's actually just going <laughs> yeah it's, it's, he, he gets you with the um, with the shoulder wobble he'll say he'll wait till it's your close up so the camera's on you it doesn't matter what he's doing and he'll say his last line and turn away and then you just see his shoulders go like that and then it'll start me laughing and then they've got to do the whole thing again he's Does very he ever funny. bust out the guitar and you know start playing the first song? Oh, you hear it down the hallway is at work, like this country music drawl coming down the yeah, hallway. Yeah, I'm very envious. He's got that deep, resonant voice, and you know, chicks love him, and he can sing and play the guitar. I got nothing. It's disgusting. I can pass a football, that's interesting. Well, now you know I'm going to ask you both this, and I'm sure everyone here wants to know can you give us some clues? What's going to happen coming up this season? Are there any, any hints? Wear condoms. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good clue. It's cryptic. It's good. Um, I can't know. Just I don't know. There's some good, some really exciting stuff coming up, and I think everyone thinks my character's going in a particular way, but I don't think they're going to know what, what happens with Brax. He's quite the dark horse, isn't he? Yes, yes. He's sort of <laughs> treading that that fine line between you know good and bad still. So he's he's not he's not all good yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, if you guys could sort of write the script yourselves, I mean, what would you like to see your characters doing? I mean, you play them all the time, so you would know them really well. I mean, is it I think Bianca needs to go back to Rome. To be honest, go to Rome and Milan and all the way through Europe, um, finding her um, ancestry. You can't replicate that in the studio either. You'd have to. Like, no, you'd, you'd have, have to, to be like that and stuff. Yeah. You'd have to first class because Bianca only travels first class. <laughs> I don't know, I, I can't complain. I reckon of all the characters on the show, I've got one that they keep giving me this stuff that I can't believe I get. So it's like I was saying, the stuff we did that you'll see in a couple of weeks was so cool when I read it, I went, I'm probably dead set, the luckiest bloke I know. So yeah, I, yeah. I wouldn't change anything yet. Yeah, good. So an exciting year ahead. And I mean, thanks guys so much for coming down here today. Sorry about the weather, but for everyone out there, we'll have autograph signing soon. All right, thank you very much for inviting us.
can we ask everyone to stay where they are because our stars are going to move through the crowd. everyone stay where you are so we can have this pathway through the crowd so our stars can go outside and start signing autographs. So everybody else please stay where you are.